Before we get on to the specifics of using a porch potty, let's run through the essentials of house training generally. Then we'll look at the benefits of having your own contained, easy to keep clean grassy area for your pup or older dog's toilet. House training is simple, but it's not always easy. Here's the process in a nutshell. If you have your puppy in the right place at the times they need to pee or poo, and as soon as they've finished you praise and reward with a treat, they'll quickly learn where the right place is and be keen to go to it when necessary. Simple. Now you may be wondering how to predict this. First, think management. The easiest way to begin instilling good habits is to limit your pup's access to other areas of your home unless you're closely monitoring them. Until your pup's fully house trained, create a safe, secure area where your pup will eat, sleep and spend most of their time. The problem with giving them free access to your home, apart from all the things they're likely to chew, is that you won't be able to monitor them as closely and they'll find places they think seem good for peeing, especially nice absorbent rugs or carpeted areas. So this is where the use of crates, play pens, stair gates and remembering to shut doors will simplify your life and speed up your training. Decide where you want your puppy to toilet. Ideally, it needs to be away from distractions and quick to access when needed. This may be the garden, or if you don't have one or can't get to it quickly, instead of pee pads, a porch potty is ideal. To begin with, especially if you know there'll be times you may not be able to take your puppy to the toilet as frequently as needed, you could leave the porch potty in the pup's safe area so they have the opportunity to use it anytime. Let's also get out of the way what to do if, realistically, when your puppy goes in the wrong place. Just calmly clear up with a good enzymatic cleaner or diluted biological washing powder and remind yourself to take the puppy to their toilet area more often. Don't tell the puppy off. They won't understand why. It's more likely they'll try not to toilet in front of you, hiding behind furniture or going when you're not in the room. It won't help your relationship with your puppy and it will make house training more difficult. Now, back to getting it right. How to teach your puppy to go in the right place. Pups vary, but very roughly during the day you might expect an 8-10 to week old puppy to toilet every 1-2 to two hours. By 4 months old a puppy may be able to hold on for up to 3 or 4 hours, but there will be times when your puppy pees twice or more in half an hour. And most young puppies will also need to toilet 2 or 3 times at night. You'll soon get an idea of what your puppy is likely to do. To help you predict this, bear in mind they need to go when they wake up and they nap a lot not long after eating or drinking, or when they get excited. In almost all cases, the right place for your puppy to perform eventually is going to be outside. If you don't have a garden, or you do but prefer to have a designated toilet area, a porch potty is the ideal solution. It might be sited on a balcony, patio area, porch, or even inside your home. When taking them to their toilet area, encourage with a cheery voice so they speedily follow you. The movement will help nature take its course more quickly. Once there, just stand calmly so you don't distract your puppy and wait for them to begin sniffing and hopefully toileting. Remember to have treats with you or available right by their toilet area at all times so you can praise and reward immediately they've finished. If you take your puppy to the toilet area and they don't go after a few minutes, either pop the pup in their crate or keep them on a lead so you can closely monitor them and revisit the toilet area five minutes later or sooner if it seems necessary. Pups vary in how long they take to learn where to toilet. Some take to it very quickly, for others you may expect accidents unless you're eagle-eyed for the first few months. While you're training, monitor constantly. Your puppy will often give you a clue as to their intentions by sniffing and circling, stopping mid-play or going to an area they've previously toileted in. Don't hang around. It's better to be wrong and nothing happens than to miss a sign. Now, a few tips for using a porch potty. If your puppy is worried about approaching the porch potty, take your time. Play games around it until they're comfortable with it. Although the absorbent grass is likely to be a tempting toilet area, if your pup is used to going on pee pads or paper, introduce the porch potty by putting a pee pad on the turf. Over time, cut down the size of the pad until you can get rid of it altogether. A used pee pad can also help at the start. Some pups will decide the porch potty is a good chew toy. If so, make sure they've got better options to play with and chew and take them to the porch potty on lead. If they still just want to chew, take them away for a few minutes and see if they're more likely to toilet when you return. Have fun with your puppy!